Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Monday, May the 15th, 2023. Monday, May the 15th. And, all right, goodness gracious. We have Dex and Josh up on top of the roof, and Dex is saying he's going to have to leave and say goodbye to her because Michael changed his mind. And Josh was like, what? No, no, you know, back and forth with... But no, um, I'm either going to be killed by Sonny or, you know, end up having to go to jail for working for Sonny. I mean, all kinds of things that Dex is going through. Well, you know what? You're working for a mobster. Things change, right? Like what Michael said. So she's like, I don't want you to be killed. I don't want you to be hurt. You know, so they go back and forth. But I don't want you to leave either. So they, they I was done with them. Now, poor Gladys, poor, poor Gladys, lost again. Cody did a... <laughs> Gladys even suspects, because Wu, Wu hemmed up Gladys big time after. Gladys lost the money she came with and had the nerve to borrow $80,000 from the house. Who does that? Who on a losing streak? Gladys hasn't won in forever. But I'm going to borrow 80, actually, I think it was $85,000 from the house. And the rules are you borrow from the house, you got to be paying the house back by the end of the night, right? They're not in the habit of letting you walk away from there because you could skip town on the house. So, uh, Wu is him and up, Gladys. And Wu was saying, we got to settle up. You have to settle up. And Gladys is like, yeah, I just need more time. Just, just give me more time. She goes, no, no, mm -mm, no. Done giving you time. Because remember, in the beginning, Wu would give her time to figure it out. That's how she ended up with that garage. So Wu's like, nope. You either pay me or I'll get it from your daughter-in-law, Sasha Gilmore. And Gladys is like, no, I mean, moving that amount, amount of money, Sasha might get suspicious. I mean, it could be done, but I need to do it. She goes, no, nope, you have until noon tomorrow, right? And so Gladys, is, she's like worried about, oh, no. Like, what, what am I going to do? So she's trying to slink away from Wu. And uh, Cody, Cody sees her. And boy, is he egging her on. Another losing night, I see. And she goes, yeah, you probably cheat. He goes, mm -mm, no, you're just horrible at poker. Horrible. <laughs> I told her that you continue to come in and lose. So Cody's just mm, smugly walks away from her because he's like, yeah, you in big trouble now. But now how's he going to keep track of Sasha's money? He knows. Well, for one, Gladys came in on her little salary from Sasha, I think. <clears throat> but now the 85 grand that she didn't have in her purse when she came in, she's going to have to figure out how to get. So <clears throat> Sasha appears on the set with Lucy. First time we're seeing Lucy. I'm coughing now, everybody. First time we see Lucy. And you know what? As soon as I saw her, I started shaking my head. Lucy Co. <laughs> you put everybody in jeopardy. Probably hasn't apologized to nobody. Don't care. Lucy's never cared. So Sasha, you know, she's like, are you sure, Sasha? Are you sure? And Sasha's like, yeah, I have this. You know, so Sasha's, you know, talking to Haven. And Haven's like, well, welcome back, Sasha Gilmore. You know, although she's already been secretly talking to the producer. Because she goes, first Haven comes up. I refuse to work with you. Who let you in? Who, who? And she goes, are you a producer? Brooklyn says. And so the producer talks to Haven and he's like, we haven't had network uh, a ratings like we did when she was on the show last time. So what's good for ratings is good for us. 
And Haven's like, hmm, okay, well, we got to orchestrate another little breakdown, right? A little meltdown on the stage. So we've got still Scott. He's at the Savoy trying to drown his tears. And boy, Lisa, Lisa won't take him back. Cody comes up and says, I need you to represent me. Can I hire you? And he goes, shh, you don't. You don't have enough money. He goes, I have $25,000. And he goes, Psh, that ain't no mm -mm, small potatoes. You small fish. So Scott ends up talking to, was it Felicia? He ends up talking to maybe Felicia and Mac. Yeah, he goes over to the table with Felicia and Mac. And they were talking about how the Ice Princess it, the WSB when they blew up the boat is presumably they blew up that ice princess too and Scott is like well that was Dominique's and that was worth millions and Matt goes yep yeah, but you know what it is gone now so Scott gets this bright idea hmm he looks over at Cody and I'm like okay now what would you want from Cody now I mean I didn't understand quite what why Scott decides hey gonna go cozy up to Cody right so so he does um and Cody's wondering why are you cozying up to me right now too now we have Nina cornering Drew at GH begging Drew please I just want a relationship with my daughter I mean perhaps you could put in a a good word perhaps you could help and Drew's like whoa 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 that's my dog Oliver. And then he goes, perhaps, you know, you could you could convince Carly. And, and Drew's like, you know what, Nina? For one thing, you have to stop asking people to intervene for you. Your relationship with Willow is from your own actions. For you from your own actions. And he goes, until you own up to that. Well, I do. I, I recognize I could have treated her better in the beginning. I mean, I can do. Stop that, Oliver. <laughs> he goes, she goes, I do. And then she goes, but I want a clean slate. You know, we can start all over again. And he goes, it doesn't work that way, Nina. There are no quick fixes. Come here, Oliver. I'll get you. Come on. This, everybody, is Oliver. He is the barker right now. Stop your barking. So, <laughs> yeah, he's going to be 15 in November. So we'll see if he makes it to his 15th birthday. Because, you know, the life expectancy of a Yorkie is anywhere between 13 and 15 years. So he and my Kara, who you haven't been hearing coughing as much, um, they're kind of on the long end of the lifespan. But. Anyway, back to GH, my little canine family, back to GH. So he says, Nina, put in the work. Instead of asking other people for a quick fix, if you put in the work with Willow, meaning respect her wishes, just show through little things and she will see that there's value in a relationship with you. But if you keep going around asking people to intervene to go against what Willow has said, it'll never happen. You know, yes, you can make amends. I mean, if you can make amends to Carly. Carly could, you know, assist in some manner she may choose to or not choose to but Nina you blame her for things that you did you blame it all on her you know and if you had a sincere apology people will start to see that you know if you could be sincere so she's like and Drew says and that's all I have to say bottom line this is on you to work out so he leaves her there and she's thinking, what, what is he doing? Huh? What am I supposed to, you know, what am I supposed to do? So we have Michael 
Michael, you know, him and Sonny are talking. And Michael tells, I mean, Michael tells Sonny he wants to just broker peace. You know, and Sonny's like, well, what brings you to this revelation? And he goes, Willow. Willow is the one <clears throat> who got me to see that staying on this path, path is going to divide the family. You know, Chrissy, it's already started with Chrissy. You know, Joss and I are okay because <laughs> they on the same page. He says, but Ava and Donna, Ava, Avery and Donna, they would feel they would have to choose and that is not fair to them. So, for the interest of my family, <clears throat> for the interest of my si sisters, I will broke. I I will want to bury the hatchet and con and broker peace with you. And Sonny says, "I thought eventually you would come around, because after you won custody of Avery, you eventually gave her back to me." Because you did not want to come between us. So I thought in time, <clears throat> you would come around. And Michael said, well, Willow helped a lot with that. That's thanks to Willow, right? And so Sonny says, okay, well, now you talked about your siblings. What does that mean for Wiley and Amelia? And Michael said, I am not going to stand in the way my children <clears throat> should know their grandfather. I'm not going to stand in the way of that. So Sonny's like, okay, good, good. And then, of course, you knew Sonny had to go there. He says, and what about Nina? And Michael just looked at him. Michael says, Nina is up to Willow. Not me. Whatever Willow <clears throat> decides she wants, whatever relationship she wants with Nina or whatever relationship she doesn't want with Nina, that's up to, to, to uh, Willow. And so he, uh, Michael tells Sonny, and <clears throat> I would like <clears throat> for you not to try to, to, to go around and advocate for Nina you know, every chance you got get to Willow because it's Willow's decision, you know? And he goes, and I would appreciate it <clears throat> if you would get Nina to back off. And Sonny said, I can't get Nina to back off. I can't tell Nina what to do about her daughter. Just like I wouldn't want anybody telling me what to do about my kids. It's up to Nina what she does and doesn't do. He says, but I can respect the fact that it's up to Nina and Willow to work it out. I won't interfere. And Michael said, okay, that's fair enough. But Sonny says, because <clears throat> Willow's procedure is tomorrow. Sonny says, um, but we will be at the hospital tomorrow. I will see you there. We will keep our distance. But nobody is going to keep us away from our family for just being there. And Michael said, okay. I mean, how could you say? <clears throat> Nina can't even come and her daughter is having this crucial procedure. Of course, we're going to be in the house. Of course, we are. And Sonny said, I'm going to go and light a candle for Willow. Right. And Michael said, that would be nice. Thank you. So they actually parted on <clears throat> neutral terms, you know, neutral, neutral terms. So, of course, when it gets back to Joss and Dex, Joss is like, I want you to stay. We'll figure out something because first she said, I'll go with you. And then he got to talking to her. Look, you're going to be leaving your whole life. I mean, 
you you're young so she finally realized you know what you're right i'm not ready to just lead my whole life no you're not jocelyn not for your first real good role in the hay for months no right so <clears throat> he and she says but just stay and we will figure something else out and so Dex, Dex says, yeah, but that means I will be working with Sonny, still working for Sonny. And she said, for now, but we'll figure something out. So of course he agrees to stay. Of course, this man, trust me, he's a number of years older than her. Okay, okay, I will. So he stays. So that's where they left it off for uh, Monday, April, May the 15th, 2023. I will be back tomorrow for another daily recap of General Hospital.